Good morning, this is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God. And today, I'm going to share a little bit about my book, Something Different, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. Today, I'm going to read to you the endorsements and uh, the beginning of the book because I think it's important that you know some of this stuff. Many churches today don't need God. They can sing without Him but he doesn't inhabit their praises. They can quote a few scriptures, but they have no life or confirming signs. They can tell you how bad you have been, but offer no power for change. They condemn you, but offer no, they condemn you, tell you you are a sinner, guilty of breaking a law, shame you and make you feel like a worm in the dirt, but offer no redemption. They make the church out to be weak, sickly, poor, guilty, and condemned. The church is the only answer for the world's problems. The kingdom of God is in you in power because Jesus made you righteous. You are to bring peace and joy in the Holy Spirit as the answer to the world. You are to be victorious in every area of your life. Jesus is coming back for a glorious bride. When you read this book, my dream is for you to understand who you are in Christ. You were created to have fellowship with God and to carry His love and power to a dying world. My desire in writing this book is that you experience God, not a dead, dry religion full of rules. Experience the Bible. The Bible is full of God encounters, angels, transportations, miracles, signs, wonders, the dead being raised, and deaf he dead being raised, deaf hearing, blind seeing, supernatural wine, God's presence on our flesh. God is a supernatural God. All other supernatural encounters are forgeries and copies of the real thing. God is full of love and joy and peace. Everything the Bible has to offer or experiences for you today. Each person God created has an empty spot in them and they desire for the supernatural. We are hungry for God and we have desire to experience God. God wants a relationship with us. He wants to fill us with himself so we can continue to do his work on earth. We are Jesus' hands and feet and mouth on earth today. He did the same thing. He does the same thing through us that he did when Jesus walked the earth. We are witnesses that Jesus has risen from the dead. We are witnesses, and and we are filled with His Spirit so we can enforce the victory His blood paid for us to have. When you truly fall in love with Jesus and experience Him, you will become a new person. No one will have to tell you to stop sinning. The love of God will compel you. The forward. Um, by, Ka by Pastor Kathy and Rick Goodman. Um, Robin is truly a woman of God who has a deep revelation of Christ and has a hunger and a thirst for the true manifestation of the Spirit of God. She has a great longing to see the glory of God come down and dwell in churches and in the presence of people. As Robin's pastor, we watch Robin grow in the Word and in the knowledge of the Lord. Basically, we have watched her mature in the things of God. We have had the privilege of witnessing her walk of faith through many trials and testings. We have watched her come through them victoriously. She has come from being an ordinary church member to a great woman of faith. Thanks, Kathy and Rick. From being without to a woman of many blessings. Robin is a great prayer warrior and has learned to bask in the presence of God. Her greatest desire is to see God's people experience the joy of His presence in their life and to be free to express themselves to the Lord with freedom. Free to be who God created them to be and free to worship Him in spirit and truth. I would like to encourage you to read the book and to use this book as a great study tool in order to discipline, to train, and to learn about kingdom principles of God. I have found this material to be very helpful in these areas. This book was truly written from Robin's heart, inspired from God simply because of the love she has for the kingdom principles of God and her love for you. Use it wisely and use it with open ears that you can be a hearer for yourself from God and use it openly that you might stay teachable. Pastor Rick and Kathy Goodman. And she was, they were our pastors for seven years at Christ Community Center in Walika. And they're now co-pastors of a church in Whitefield, Oklahoma. Now, um, the dedication to this book. This book is dedicated to people like you who are hungry, crying out to be part of the last and the greatest revival. Who are hungry to know and experience God, a real God who cares about them and has answers now. Also the people who are tired of dry, dead religion with no life or power or God in it. And to the people who so-called Christians have hurt, who feel unloved and want purpose in their life. 
God loves you. God has a purpose for you. God has called you to live in this century and this time because he has a job only you can do. In this book, you will receive revelation knowledge that will put you on a path to your destiny in God. I love you. I hurt for you. And I want to give you what God has given me. I want you to live in the Holy Spirit, peace, joy, and righteousness of the kingdom. I once knew a teenage boy who grew up to be a young man. His life wasn't perfect, but he gave his life to the Lord. Oops, I dropped my book. Okay, okay. He gave his life to the Lord. <clears throat> Unexpectedly, his life ended with a question in the air. Did he make heaven? Unsure, I prayed and praised the Lord, seeking an answer. Suddenly, I heard a voice join mine in praising the Lord. It was the voice of my young friend. I rejoiced knowing he was in heaven with the Lord. This book is dedicated to the young people of the world. Re rumor has it that the end time revival starts with you. So get hungry. There was once a young girl who grew up in church and loved the Lord. One day the Lord disappointed her. She be so because of this, she turned away from the Lord. She's become a celebrity, leading many people away from the Lord. This book is dedicated to celebrities, movie stars, and famous people, many of whom grew up in church. Some never knew how much God loved them, so they turned to wrong lifestyles and emptiness. God loves you. He knows your hidden hearts. He knows the mask you have to keep on your face because the world is always looking at you. He knows how hard it is to find true love and not people who will use you for their own gain and drop you for their fame. He knows the freedom you have lost to do who to do. He knows the freedom you have lost to be who he created you to be. The joy to just do normal things. The feeling of always being on and how that drains you. God loves you. He has even more for you. He wants you to have abundance in every area of your life and peace and joy and power, supernatural power of God. So this book is dedicated to all the future stars and the famous stars of the world. I pray it will set you free to be the person God created you to be. I pray that through this book, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times, you choose to receive the supernatural relationship with Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who was sacrificed for all our sins, the one and only good news. This is from Phyllis Hill, founder of Power of Fire Ministry, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Wow, what a blessing Robin's new book is to the body of Christ. God's glory and power revealed in his word and in us. Feed My People Joy is a book you will go back to again and again. It is, a daily, it is daily walking out his kingdom inside of us. The only way for us to do this is to read the book and let the book read us. Robin's book will inspire and spark a hunger in you to feast on his word and walk out his kingdom come in your own life. Keep on feasting on the word. Robin, you are full of Jesus and his joy. I can't wait for your next book. Okay, this next endorsement by Mark Hankins, and he's on the radio. Um, and you probably heard of him. Mark Hankins of uh, Mark Hankins Ministry in Alexandra, Louisiana. It is my pleasure to endorse the book Feed My People Joy by Reverend Robin Bremer. Joy is a very important key in Christian walking in victory. The Lord spoke to me in this way. If you only knew what happens in the Spirit when you rejoice, you would rejoice every day. I believe this book will be a great tool for you to live every day in the joy and victory that God desires for us to walk in. Mark Hankins, founder of Mark Hankins Ministry, Alexandra, Louisiana. Angela Stevens is this next one. In her new book, Feed My People Joy, Robin Bremer has written from a decisively unique, entertaining, and encouraging perspective regarding the kingdom of God and all its corresponding benefits to the life of a believer. It may be utilized by a new believer as a tool for spiritual growth and by the mature believer as a reminder of what the kingdom lifestyle is all about. In the hands of a non-believer, I believe this book has the potential to cultivate a desire for one to know God personally and can promote spiritual reconciliation to the Father through the truths presented in a clear, concise, and inspiring manner. It is a great read, and I highly recommend it to one and all. Enjoy. Angela Stevens, founder of Angela Stevens Ministry International, co-pastor of New Life Christian Center, Stigler, Oklahoma. Okay. This next one is Karen Henze. Um, I have known Robin for 15 years. 
She has been quite an inspiration to me. Throughout these years, she has never strayed from the vision on her heart from God to feed my people joy. As I read this book, I sense the anointing, drive, burning desire, and passion that comes out on you as you read these anointed pages. It will be hard for you to put this book down when you see all the Heavenly Father has for you. Robin has a desire for all the fullness of God to be manifested, and she is here to help bring that fullness to pass in a sad and broken world. Now sit up and feast on your Heavenly Father's joy. God is so good to us all the time. Thank you, Robin, for sharing from your heart. And that's Karen Henze, homeschooling mom and a friend in Azel, Texas. This next one is from Harley Ham, a retired sergeant. Oh, he's a sergeant, retired Muskogee Police Department, and now a federal court security office officer and a Sunday school teacher at Lighthouse Christian Center in Ufala, Oklahoma, which is my church. As I read Feed My People Joy, I couldn't help but look at it from a teacher's perspective. Everything is backed up by scripture and obviously thoroughly researched. Each page has direction I could go on to build a lesson. I enjoyed reading it very much and I would recommend it to others. Okay, and this last one is Delvina Pageant, Teacher of the Word Lighthouse uh, Christian Center in a Christian church in Ufala. Uh, I believe that God, I believe that this God-inspired book, Feed My People Joy, is a great tool in the hands of any Bible teacher who desires to take the hungry Bible student deeper into the revelations of God's kingdom. I recommend this book highly and enjoy the depth of teaching that is revealed in it. Read, gleam, and grow. Okay, and in this book, some of the chapters are The Kingdom of Joy, The Blood Covenant of the Kingdom, The Kingdom of God is the Kingdom of Love, The Kingdom of God in the Holy Spirit, Two Kingdoms on the Earth, Words Rule in the Kingdom, <clears throat> The Kingdom of God is Righteousness, that's one of my favorite chapters, The Kingdom Praying, Praying God's Will, Kingdom Armor, The Kingdom of Peace, The Kingdom, King and His Kingdom, another favorite chapter, Witnessing the Kingdom Way, Signs, Wonders, and Miracles Yesterday, Today, and Forever, Healing is always the kingdom way, kingdom authority to raise the dead, the gospel of the kingdom to the poor, and power scriptures to build your faith. And the last chapter is the kingdom and time revival and awakening. Okay, and my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God and I was just going over the introduction, endorsements, and an index of Feed My People Joy.